Hello guys, Jordan here, and today I want to share with you why you should start using Facebook ads to grow your business. I've been doing Facebook ads in 2017. I've been working with some clients. I've got some good results. I really know what's working, what's not. I'm not an expert. I know a little bit about Facebook ads, but I'm pretty sure I can give you a better understanding how to do it properly and with the right mentality, especially if you are getting started or maybe you are not getting the results you want on your campaigns. This video is gonna help you understand uh, the seven main reasons I consider you should start using it and I'm gonna share with you a quick strategy so you can start implementing today and get some good results. So without further ado, do, let's get started. So why Facebook ads? First, because it's the biggest social media platform on earth, okay? I'm pretty sure you know that. And Facebook has 2.6 billion monthly users. This is a lot of people in this platform. And this is just gonna keep growing and growing. And basically, I think that it's, it's almost insane if a business, if you're not on Facebook on these days, because just to take a look how many people are using this platform, it's almost like a, an ocean of fishes. So you can go and pitch your ideal customer depending on uh, your ideal client's profile. So you can go to all that ocean, you can go target and offer them your products, your services. Man, you can get money from this. You, if you do it correctly, you have an a enormous amount of people you can target and profit from them. And the second is that an average person spent two hours and 24 minutes a day on social media. They are always on their phones with the iPhones, with the iPads, with their Android, iOS, it doesn't matter. They're always inside Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. So you need to be in front of those people and take advantage of that. So how you do that? Basically, just create ads specifically designed it for those clients, for those people to help them solve their problems, their pains, give them solutions. In that way, you wanna start building an audience of people that actually care about what you have to offer. On the other hand, we have organic reach is pretty much dead. What do I mean with this? Well, let's say that you have a Facebook fan page of 50,000 people, okay? And you make a post, and maybe you think that you're going to reach those 50,000 people. But that doesn't work like that. You usually, you're gonna reach around the 2,000, 1,000, or maybe the 100 people that follow you, but you don't gonna reach those 50,000. Because the way Facebook usually works is that if you want to get more people to see your post, you need to pay for that, okay? The only way a post can get a big amount of organic reach if is that post goes viral, which is practically, it's really difficult. There's no like a way that, okay, you need to follow this step and in that way you wanna get viral posts. No, it doesn't work like that. So basically I, I highly recommend don't rely on just organic reach because it's basically like a putting a rooftop to your business. Because if you do that, you're just gonna reach a certain amount of people and I recommend that you always need to keep looking forward for new audiences, new clients, keep growing your fan pages. And also a Facebook post and a Facebook ad are completely different things. Facebook posts, they're just gonna help your current audience to be engaged with you so they can know what you're doing. And that's why I recommend using Facebook ad in the sense of it's gonna help you grow your business faster than just trying to rely on getting more clients just by posting on your fan page and waiting to get organic reach to get more people. No, it doesn't work like that. And as I mentioned before, you have an entire ocean of people that actually they're gonna care about what you have to offer. Keep that in mind. So we also have targeting, which are really powerful tool that many people don't really know how to use it, how to properly do it with Facebook ads. And this platform allow you to target your specific audience depending and going in deep in different things. Like for example, we have interest, which basically is every single like you've done on Facebook. Let's say that you like a fan page that's gonna be tracked by Facebook. So marketers like me can go and target those people that like those specific things let's say for example uh, bro interests like dog fitness beauty health if you like 
fan pages or you click on something that is related to those different interests, Facebook is going to track that. Facebook tracks everything, okay? So those are interests and there's also behaviors. So you need to know how your ideal customers, your avatar behave. Let's say that, for example, you are half an online store and you want to target people with a behavior that they are online shoppers or engage shoppers. Or maybe you have a travel agency and you want to target people that have the behavior of travelers. They're frequent travelers. Or maybe you want to sell video games. You can target gamers or something like that. And that, that's what basically is a behavior. And there's also demographics. Within demographics, you can know if someone is married, is it has a certain level of education, if he went to university, college, if they are in a relationship, if they have a certain amount of financial income, you can target all that. For example, when I had my online store where I was selling pregnancy clothes, I was targeting to women that have babies or kids between two months to one year or one to three years, depending what type of product I was trying to sell. I use shoes on demographics and I select the option that I was looking for. So as you can see, you have three different types of options. You can choose to get creative and target your ideal customer. So the tools are there so you can go use them. And if you're finding this helpful, guys, or need more help about this topic, you can go visit bgonlinesolutions.com. You can schedule a call with us. We can talk about your business, what you're struggling with, what are your goals, and we can look for a solution for you. Okay, now we have custom and lookalike audiences. So this is really powerful, guys. Actually, this is where you make the money. So pay attention to this. So first, what is a custom audience? So let's say that you have fan pages and a website. You can perfectly create a custom audience of people that already visit your fan page, visit your website. They maybe like or engage with one of your posts on Instagram, on Facebook. They visit a certain uh, web page on say your website, maybe where you have your products. You can perfectly create a custom audience and retarget them later with another ad. Or you can also, let's say that you have an online store. Let's keep with this example. And let's say that you have the process where the person look your product, then add it to cart and then purchase. Let's say that you have a certain amount of people that they just add it to cart, but they didn't finish the process. They didn't buy. So you can perfectly create a custom audience of people that just added to cart. So you can go later and create an ad specifically for those people. And you can say something like, hey, I noticed you left your cart with these products. Go ahead and finish your, your shopping, your, your, the process, or you can have 5% discount if you finish the action, something like that. You, can, you have to talk specifically to those person. So this is something really powerful, okay? And also, let's say that you have a group of people that already buy from you. These are hot audiences. So you can create a custom audience of those people and you can retarget them with another product because they already bought from you, they already know you, they already trust you. So it's more likely for them to buy again from your brand, from your business. Also, let's say that you have an email list. Let's say that you have the email list from people that visit your physical store. You can upload that file and you can create a custom audience and you can retarget them again with more product, more promotions, whatever you want to, to sell. Or you can perfectly create a video ad. Let's say you are a new business that you want to get exposure, you want to reach more people. You can create a video talking about your services, your products, your brand, whatever, okay? Once you do that, you can create custom audiences of people that watch your video for a certain amount of time, for three seconds, 10 seconds, 50 uh, seconds, 50% of the video or the entire video. You can create a custom audience from those people that watch your video and then retarget them with something else. Because those people, they already know from you. They watch your video because they were interested in what you have to offer or what you have to say. Okay, so this is really powerful. 
I really love custom artists because this is actually where the money is. And keep in mind that at the beginning, just because you launch an ad and you put certain amount of money, you just have to expect that the money comes in. No, it doesn't work like that. There is a lot of psychology behind sales process. Actually, in the back end is where the big money is made. With all these things of Facebook ads that you need to learn first in order to get good results. So what I'm telling you right now is to not focus just on getting or being profitable in the first ad you launch. No, start building your audience and then start creating custom audiences. This is how you want to succeed with all this. And also you can take advantage of lookalike audiences. So what are lookalike audiences? So now you know how to create custom audiences. So we want to keep with the same sample of the people that already purchased from you. Okay. Okay. This is the group of people that already bought from you. Now you can tell to Facebook, Hey Facebook, I want you to go and search for people that look alike this audience. So remember all the things that I already mentioned you before, the interest, the demographics, that Facebook track everything you do, and all those things, okay? The database with the enormous amount of people inside Facebook. So Facebook is gonna go and gonna look for people that are similar, that have the same interests, and all the things related to the audience that you just created with the custom audience. So he's gonna look for people that are similar to those and those people are more likely to buy from you as well because it's a lookalike audience okay you know what i'm trying to say here right so this is really powerful this is what i love about facebook ad the costume and the lookalike audience and trust me when i was getting started with my e-commerce store i really wish i knew all this because i didn't implement all this i'm telling you right now i just was expecting to get money or to get sales just with a simple ad but i didn't focus on the back end on the sales process and the follow-up where there is where all the money is made so don't take this for granted it's really going to help you if you do it properly and the last one is that you have multiple advertisement placement back in the day you only has the news feed where you can show your ads nowadays you have facebook and instagram feeds the history sections uh, in articles maybe you're reading an article inside facebook you can see that you have ads inside those articles and in apps and website as well you have many other different places where you can show up your your ads depending on the type of campaign the type of retargeting you are doing so this is one of the reasons as well i really like uh, facebook ads for the multiple places I can show my ads and that can help my ad perform even better. So basically those are the main reasons I wanted to share with you so you can start using Facebook ads on your business to get more people to visit your website, get more exposure, get the right people to actually know you because they're actually gonna care about what you have to offer. So just to recap a little bit, we know that Facebook has billions of users and uh, most of the people now they can spend all the time on their devices on social media you need to take advantage of that put your ads put your offers in front of them and uh, we also have the different options like behaviors demographics interests that you can use to target your ideal audience and we have lookalike and custom audiences which are really powerful that's going to help you get more conversions more results and we have the different places that we can show up or at depending on what we're trying to get okay so for you that want to get started facebook ads right now i want to give you a quick sample so how you can do this first i this is going to work for any type of business if you're doing e-commerce affiliate marketing you want to sell your physical digital product or your services it works for anything so what you can do is create a video talking about your business what you have to offer your services your product then once you do that you want to create a custom audience of the people that watch your video for let's say that 50 percent of the video and then you can retarget them with another ad a straightforward offering your product your services whatever i'm pretty sure you want to get a better conversion this way because those people already know from you and they're more likely to get what you have to offer and if you have been using facebook ads before you have been getting results 
you are doing a different strategy, you have another question that I didn't cover in this video, I would love to hear from you and you can do it in the comments below. And if you want to know more about this topic, you can go to bgonlinesolutions.com schedule a call with us. We would like to know about what you're struggling with so we can come up with an idea with a solution for your business in this current situation. So basically that's the video for today. Subscribe to my channel, click the notification bell because YouTube really loves that and I really appreciate it. So without further ado, see you in the next one.